10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, liftoff. Battle of Samar Kitchens. Brasserie Americana. Marco Polo's. Super's Cafe. Our chefs will battle over three courses. The winning kitchen will receive $3,000, the champion trophy, and coveted bragging rights. Tonight, it all comes down to your vote. My name is Natalia Costa. I'm the executive chef here at Brasserie Americana, the hotel in Agreenac. I wanted to become a chef because of my daughter. She's my inspiration. I think the biggest challenge when it comes to being an executive chef is finding a team that works really good together. I have amazing people. My biggest reward, I think, in this business is going on the floor and having someone saying, that was the best filet mignon I've had in my entire life. Or that creme brulee rocked. And you're like, all right, I did good. The battle of Samara Kitchen is extremely important to me because I have amazing competition. I've worked with both kitchens before, so I know what they're capable of doing. It's a personal thing. It's proving that I can do this. It's proving um, to our guests that they're getting the best of the best. So yeah, I'm ready to, to rock this. Bragging rights are definitely something that pushes you. This year is two women, basically, against big men. So. Not only am I going to brag that we're women kicking your ass, but we are going to brag that we did the best and we're going to bring it. I'm Chef Devin. I'm Chef of the Marco Polo for the last five years, which is a very, very beautiful place to be. I love cooking and um, I just feel Great. When you're making a dish, you just got to put your, your heart and your soul and just go with it and let the, let the dish present itself by using the right ingredients. My kitchen, I don't consider this as a kitchen. It's open, so I consider it as a stage. So we perform right in front of these wonderful guests and join our meal. My best reward from cooking is seeing a clean plate comes back to the kitchen then I'm a happy chef. The Battle of Samar Kitchen symbolizes um, hard work, being the best chef. It separates the men from the boys. At the night of the fight, we're gonna be cutting, trimming, shaving, and chopping all the losers out. I'm gonna to continue to be a winner and brag. Then again, I don't think we're gonna brag because we got everything already. The best always rises to the top. I'm Sabino Avalos, Super's Cafe at Four Point by Sheraton. I started cooking 15 years ago. I got the opportunity in the uh, Super's Cafe. I love to cook. I love to create. I love to serve it to the customer. My kitchen is, is my second home. My knife is the, my best friend, is my weapon. You know, when the uh, customers enjoy the meal and say, wow, I like it, that's made me uh, feel good. We will fight hard. We gotta give it the best shot. We gotta make the good dishes. People gotta love it and we gotta win. And we come to get the trophy and get the cash. We gotta love it a lot, we gotta enjoy it. We are gonna be the biggest surprise at this battle. You're gonna tire to see my face, but you can't get me out of this race. We gotta win this year. You want heat? I'm gonna bring it to you. I'm ready. Are you ready? Nosotros seremos los campeones. We're number one. Número uno. To victory. Let the 
battle begin. The battle of All Savar right. Kitchens. Are we ready? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here tonight and being our judges at the fourth annual Battle of the Samara Kitchens. We have competing Brasserie Americana from the Integrate Neck. Marco Polos from the Viana Hotel and Spa. And Super's Cafe from Four Points Plainview. The winning team gets $3,000. $1,500 to second place, and $500 in beer money to the losers. This year, we have Jessica. She looks a little better in the Empire suit. She's got the sword. Grab the sword. Any of you kitchen guys get out of line? All food must be made by your kitchen and not pre-made, which we've checked. Everyone must have their own materials to cook. Everyone must stay in their zone and not invade another zone and must be done in 20 minutes. Kitchens get ready. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go and get them. and welcome back to the Samar Kitchens Battle. This is our fourth annual year and we are so excited to have you back again. The kitchen is already so exciting. It smells amazing in here. The chefs are running around trying to get your food ready for you. Do you think you're gonna win it this year? Well, we worked so hard, so this year we're gonna win. everyone so I just want to let you know we have just under five minutes left so if you have not received a platter from every team please tell your server now we got to make sure you got all the food you got to taste it so you could judge it you have to pick which team you like the best is it team A with the chilled chocolate mole soup is it team B with the smoked chicken on top of crispy stuffed risotto or is it Team C with the shrimp topped with white chocolate jalapeno sauce served over a squash pancake? All right, is everybody ready for round two? It's time for round two. We're going to count down, all right? Five, four, three, two, one. Timer has started. Round two has begun. try to pick one charity to do something nice for. This year our cause is breast cancer, which is why we have the hat. Any money that you donate that's put in the hat, we will match, doubling our contribution. 
Let's go help a good cause. Thank you. Hey, Sean, how you doing tonight? Good. I'm doing great. First time we're doing this. I think we're going to kick everybody's butt this year. We have everything under control. Go four points, baby. How do you think your team's doing? Pure domination right now. Pure oh, yeah? So you think you're going to beat everybody tonight? Without a doubt. Look. Oh, oh, he is so sure that he's already celebrating with a victory beer. Usually I'm actually pretty aggressive, but I'm going to feel very bad beating Great Neck and bringing four points, especially four points where you used to be my home. Great Neck, I don't have love for you. I do have love for Mara because she did win the first one. But we're going to take it all again, three-peat. All we do is win, win, win no matter what. Team A is serving the first cut filet with Merlot chocolate sauce. Team B has got the cocoa rubbed Korean short ribs. And Team C has short ribs on the bone with a dark chocolate sauce. We're about halfway done with this course. If you haven't gotten a platter from one of the teams, you should be getting it soon. If you haven't guessed it yet, the secret ingredient this year is chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So when you make your votes, Consider the taste of chocolate, and if you can really taste it. It's time for round three. Everybody's favorite round, the dessert round. Four, three, two, one. And here we go, folks. Round three has begun. We're down to under 10 minutes now. I want to show you the dessert round ticket. Team A is white chocolate passion fruit cheesecake. Team B is chocolate ganache pumpkin mousse cake. And Team C is brownie topped with caramel popcorn and nuts. Most important part of the night is that your vote counts and it picks the champion. Number one, all the way this year, we're gonna win it. The best part is coming up. You gotta see who won it, because your vote tells us who the champion is. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, dessert round is over. Over there in the corner, they don't know what they're talking about. I hope their food is as good as they dress. And please, Sean, he couldn't even tell you from a spatula or a pen over there. Those even know, and to here, I think he's, I'm, I gotta get 911 on speed dial. I think his shirt is too tight. I'm afraid he's gonna pass out. I don't know, it's tough. Everybody put their best shot out. And it was great fun, uh, but I know what happened right now. We got a, we, we are the straight winner, as usual, because we never lost. So, you know, uh, I'm very sorry for the other teams. Wish them luck next year. We need every ballot now. The sooner we get the ballots, the sooner we'll have the results. Four points this year we come to win. We win, we take the cash, and we take the trophy. What are we gonna do? Domination, pure domination. See all these cool chefs looking? Best chef right here, guys. Best on, chef. The prettiest go and on. the best. Go on. Blow them all out of the water. Go on. Listen, blow them all out of the water. Go on. They came, they saw, we conquered. Folks, we're only moments away from having the results. Woo! Moments away. It is the year of the underdog. The Mets signed the postseason. The Yankees lost. Right. So I understand where That's you guys right. are coming from. When they, talk a lot, <laughs> when they talk a lot, it's because they're afraid. That's why. <laughs> we back it up. Two championships. I want to take a moment. Um, first, I want to tell us, tell you guys, we had $500 in cash contributions to, to breast cancer research. With our match, that's $1,000 we raised tonight for a charitable cause.
Giant balls here. Folks, this is the closest we have ever had the scoring. I would say there is a three to four percent difference between third and first. It was that close. Our winner of the drink competition was the Chocolate Cherry Bliss. Four points by Sheridan. The most popular appetizer was from Team C. Shrimp topped with white chocolate jalapenos sauce. Our most popular entree was also from Team C. Short ribs on the bone with dark chocolate sauce. But it was unbelievably close all the way around. Our most popular dessert was white chocolate passion fruit cheesecake from Team A. Coming in third, but really a tremendous champion that has won this competition two years in a row, Viana Hotel and Spa Marco Polo. Just 100 points out of thousands ahead of them. In second place, was four points by Sheridan, making this year's champion the Integrate Neck, with just a hundred points more. I want to thank all of our team members for their incredible hard work all year long. On behalf of my brother, my sister, my mother, and myself, thank you all so much. God bless all of you, and God bless the United States of America.